Mark, you asked for something. We've done it together. Tordy Pants starts officially now. Hello, everybody. This is Richard Collins, chair of the Garment Trust, promoting our really exciting forthcoming Tour de Pants. Yes, you heard it. Tour de Pants, our next big fundraiser, the Tour de Pants cycle ride for the Intrepid Four from Maesteg to Tenby and back. Also, don't forget, we are holding our official Tour de Pants launch party at Maesteg Welfare Park on Sunday, the 27th of July, 2014. Uh, we'll be offering tickets at £5 a head with a barbecue and a free drink. More news on this event soon. So what do you think are actual chances of finishing the ride, Ember? I think it's uh, it's 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 going to be a, a big challenge for you all. And um, I'll be in the van behind you all. I've just done a deal with JCB to pick up any stragglers. There'll be a very large uh, JCB vehicle with a very extra large bucket. Uh, and it'll be coming right behind the four cyclists and probably scooping you up as you uh, start to drop off the bikes. Well, I think Mark Jones is the is the bookie's favourite because <laughs> yeah, it right. was his idea. Yeah, right. And he's not going to fail, is he? Knowing Mark Jones, he is going to win. Uh, I think the very dark horse could be the only female uh, uh, participant, uh, Christiane Conley. Uh, she's doing a training over the border in Bristol and she, uh, she could turn up and uh, shock them all. This is uh, video two. Uh, gonna go out on the bike. Just a short one today. I haven't been out for a probably a fortnight due to night shifts and not being able to breathe through sinusitis. And so, uh, yeah, got my aerodynamic beard in, got my cap. Let's go out on the bike. As you can see, today we've actually got the weather to go out on the bike for a change. It's the first time in about a fortnight, it hasn't. I think it's safe to say if you uh, miss a fortnight of training, it you up. I'm knackered. Nice views though. But. <sighs> Time for a nice downhill part. Right, well I've uh, just come back from my first ride in uh, about a fortnight I think, only went on a short one, I'm not sure how many miles, uh, probably about six, seven. Uh, the gears on my bike keep slipping all the time, it's giving me blisters, they are quite sore. <laughs> Constantly, I'm change gear all the time, and uh, my camel bag tastes rank. <laughs> Not good, fortnight off. It's, uh, it's pretty much throw me back to step number one. No? So, the 160 miles is looking daunting. Okay, so today I'm meeting up with uh, the others for a bike ride. It'll be the first time we've all gone out, apart from Christy. Obviously, she's uh, not going to come all the way up from Bristol just to go out on a bike for an hour or so. Looking forward to it, to be honest. It's uh, nice and warm out, nice and dry. Not too hot. But be nice to go out with the boys for a change, not just on my own. Let's just get out there and do it. My name is Phil Williams and I am one of the four idiots along with Mark Jones, Andrew John and Christy Connolly who are riding on a bike to Tenby and back. Yeah, so far training is going okay. I've been training on and off for about two weeks. I 
fell off his bike. Time to give me the camera now. Just got back from another ride with the boys. I say the boys, it was actually just me and Phil. Because Andrew was uh, still too rough, I'm dying, after take a rain check, I think he said. Me and Mark went out for a 30 mile bike ride. Uh, felt good, felt really good. Um, backside's hurt in a bit. But uh, yeah, everything's going good. But oh, yeah, it was quite a nice ride, we went from the refresh. Got down as far as... Uh, not far from Kumarbon. Double back up the old railway track. It was a really, really nice run. It was about 13 miles, just over 13 miles. Yeah, it was nice to actually go up with someone else for a change, not just myself. Gives more that competitive thing you can actually try and outdo each other. Almost fell off twice. Chain came off and ended up in a ditch almost. And then I wasn't looking when I was going, I almost ended up in another ditch. But I actually really enjoyed it, fair play. Apart from getting eaten to death by the midges. Tuesday morning, uh, time for another run. The weather's not brilliant out there, so... A little bit grey. But if it rains, it rains, we can't... Uh, can't be picky about the weather. I was never going to do the 160 miles. frustrating ride ever. I think I probably stopped more than I actually rode. Yeah I thought I'd sorted it but the gears on the bike are still either slipping or not going into gear at all. I still haven't tuned that derailer improperly. It's uh, really really frustrating. Hills are just a nightmare because you can't get in the right gear. Going up or down. Yes, yeah, so you're either pedalling like Roadrunner or uh, trying to keep up like Pavarotti on a treadmill. Last ride of the week today, going over to Llanelli. It's uh, still quite early. Going to be uh, doing some of the route that we're actually taking for the ride. <laughs> Well, we've made it to Kidwelly Castle. After how many miles, Paul? So it was. 18.7 miles. 18.7, and we got to do our back now, so, so that's 30, 37, 38 miles altogether, yeah? I, th I, I thought it would be 35 to 40. So Google lied to me, I said it was 11. <laughs> well, today I did a uh, 42 mile bike ride. It was supposed to only be about 35. Because part of the route that we're taking is really, really badly signposted. Yeah, so we ended up to double back because the route, which was for authorised airbase personnel only, was also a foot under f***ing water. So that was quite fun. My arse is okay. My thighs are killing. Uh, it's the morning after my longest run yet. Did 42 and a bit miles yesterday. And uh, apart from the severe sunburn, I actually don't feel that bad. I'm quite surprised, to be honest. I thought it'd be an agony this morning. I said it's the last video of the week, so uh, follow the links in the description. 
and please donate. Thanks. See you next week. Halfway through a 12 mile training ride, come in to see the uh, tour instigator, Mr. Richard Collins, who has been sitting down for the last two hours and enjoying a very, very restful time in Travella shop premises on commercial seat my steak. And a free drink, obviously alcoholic drink, dodgy poster, dodgy artwork done by myself. I actually studied for four years in art college to achieve this. <laughs> So, uh, so there. I'm not fucking built for this. What a stupid fucking idea. <sighs> oh, I never had a fucking bee in my mouth. All good. <sighs> really? <laughs> now take it. I had that on camera. Right, we're reinventing the glass or the glass. Oh, that would be What a stupid idea. The glass like a blood orange by the end of it. <laughs>